Production support for Hot and Cold is brought to you by American Solar Technics, manufacturers of components for wood burning and solar heating systems. Hey, I'm Tom Gozi. This week on Hot and Cold, we're in our kitchen. We've got the cabinets up last week, and this week we're doing the countertop. And you can see there's a countertop here, but there's still more to do, and we're going to do it with you. Stay with us. We'll be right back. So here we are, we got our kitchen countertop, and this half is done. And what we did was we took a, uh, we, we've got a really nice granite tile, and it seems like all the really nice look, some of the nice looking granite tile comes from overseas. This is one of them. Good looking stuff. It was not expensive, it was $2.50 a square foot. And we've been cutting and fitting and putting it down, and, and I've, I did this a couple of years ago. I've done several projects like this. This is the latest, um, generation of project. I made it simpler because I've had the experience of time under my belt to know what to do and what not to do. And what we've done in the past is we've put down a substrate. Uh, the last time we did it, we did it with particle board and we used um, uh, silicone caulk as the adhesive and then in between the joints we actually used a uh, an epoxy. And I, I was warned and I found to be true that the epoxy will yellow over time. So we're losing the epoxy because nobody other than me was using it anyway. And we're just going to go with silicone in between the joints as well, which works very well. And that's what people use when they put together the big slab granite counters. So silicone caulk is the order of the day for everything. And this half is not done yet. So what we're going to do, I just have these all fitted. I've been cutting tile all day getting ready for you. You can see we have no tile glued here. What I did was I did, um, I did about half, let's put this over here. I did about a half of the counter. I went to here and I've actually set the sink already and the sink is bedded in silicone as well. So I just didn't do this one edge. What we're gonna do is move these over here. And these are just one foot square granite tiles and I don't have this one stuck under there either. And these are pre-cut. I, I pre-cut them with my, uh, my uh, wet saw. And it's very simple to do. The wet saw is about $100. 80, I, I think I paid $100. It's now $88. Thanks, guys. Uh, but it does work well. Uh, I'm using Advantech because I couldn't find particle board. So I'm using Advantech. I want to make sure that it is... Uh, there's no grid on it or anything that will make it uneven. I have checked this to make sure it is level. And that's pretty much it. Now what I've done ahead of time, because it's a two-step process when you do a countertop like this, we measure out the, uh, the width of the countertop. And if you recall, we were away from the wall a little bit. When we built our own countertops, we just could cut it the right width and go out. And we have about a, an overhang of about three quarters of an inch in the front. And just, we put it where we thought it looked nice, eye appeal wise. I've got three quarter inch Advantech screwed down to the uh, cabinet. And then on the very edge here, I've cut three quarter inch wide strips of granite, which are silicone caulked in place. And we use duct tape just to hold that. And silicone caulk in between each joint, which is very critical. This is put on a day ahead of time and left to cure overnight. And the silicone is fairly tacky, but it will slide, so we need to use the duct tape to hold it in place. We did that, and then the next day we came back, and I started at that end, and I've just worked my way across. So now, I notice this tube is almost out, but let's get out the silicone that we have. And I start with a little bit, a bead along the edge there, and I will put a bead right underneath the front edge. Can we go too wide here? Where's my another? my other piece right there. Okay. 
I think we're going to run out of cork on this pretty quick. Yeah, I just, just bottomed that out. That's what you call a good TV show preparation, is having the tube run out as soon as you start the program. I like to use it, what they call neutral cure silicone, it's the, or odorless silicone. Um, really, I think you could use either, but I think the neutral cure sticks a little better. Again, back here, I want to get a, get a I, I'm getting it right up against the joint. I'm going to put a fair amount underneath, and we're just going to go back and forth. I probably ought to just cut this tip wide open to do this, but... And if there's any TV show I can do where we're just doing caulking, you know that's good television. And it's worth waiting for. It's worth the wait, I'm telling you. We just could do this. They do, I think, have this in uh, probably bulk containers, which would be a lot easier for us, but let's go with that. We take a putty knife and we just flatten it out and we run across. And you notice as I run the putty knife across the caulk, the, the wood, the Advantech, looks like it's kind of wet. That's the look I want. I've got a good coat of, of uh, silicone all over everything. <clears throat> You'll see why it's important here in a minute. What we're going to do, we're going to take, we'll start with the back one. We're going to sneak that right underneath the edge. And we're going to take the front one, do the same thing, sneak that right underneath the edge. Then we'll slide the two together, close up the gap. You always dry fit these before you do it. There we go. We want no cracks at the joints. <coughs> Excuse me. And we want a very slight overhang at the front edge. Tell me that don't look good. I don't remember which is which here. This is the one that goes here. I've cut pre-cut this one to go in the back too. And for the back piece, because it's hard to get the caulking in there, I'll butter the edges where it's going to butt together. I believe I already have enough caulk on there, but I'm just going to put a little bit on the bottom here just to be safe. And we're going to sneak that in here. Just like that. And when it comes together, if it oozes out silicone, that's okay because we just put that there. And we're just going to get a little more back here. And I'm getting the high side. We're all ready for a commercial. Already. But look, we got two square feet, more than two square feet of countertop done in that first seven minutes or so. And that's about six dollars worth of stuff. I defy you to find a six dollar countertop that looks this nice anywhere else. Six dollar a running foot. Check the prices. It's a lot of money. We take a break, we come back. We got more to do including backsplash. Did I say backsplash in addition to countertop? That's unbelievable. We'll be right back. Hey we're back and I switched caulking tubes because I had that one tube and that was what we call acid oxy caulk. For those of you who are into caulking, acid oxy is the stinky stuff. So we're just going to keep plugging away here. Okay, there's one. I got a bead along the edge here. Get a nice bead in there. I don't care if it extrudes out a bit. As a matter of fact, I wanted to do that because the, the caulk plays a very important role here in that it's a cushion. It is uh, going to make sure that there is something in between the two pieces of granite so they do not, if they expand, they have a little expansion room. We're just going to do the edge. Alright, get this in here. And if it oozes up, that's okay. Sometimes 
I have to admit, I mess up. I know you find that hard to believe, but um, and there may be a little bit more of a gap than I want. And if there is, I can do one of two things. I can go ahead and and uh, recut the tile and make sure that I have covered everything properly, or I can go ahead and. If it's a very small gap, and most of the gaps are pretty small, there may be a little incongruity in the tile itself. Um, I can go ahead and uh, just fill it with some silicone, which is the more practical approach. As long as there's not a big crack there. If it's a big crack, you want to you want to deal with it. We don't want to ignore these things, and we're just going to pull this out nice and flat. This tile here. If I did this right, everything should line up with the edge, ah, oh, like butter. Good. All right, I'm going to move this here. We got to do this last one, which goes right here. And again, we're just going to butter this edge. I'm going to you can see this is not a big big project. This is not rocket science. The biggest issue is when you work with a tile like granite in particular, you need to have a tile saw. And for the cost of having the tile saw, as I've said before, if you ever have projects where you want to do tile, you know, the bathroom or something, um, it pays for itself on the first project. So it's not a, not a gigantic investment. I mean, we're going to waste that much money going out to eat. So, here we go. We can afford to get a nice tile saw and do this kind of project. And just trying to do this quickly because we do have other stuff to do here, believe it or not. Now, once this sets up, I've got paper towels all over the place. I try to wipe off some of the extraneous stuff. Now, what's next? We got backsplash. I pre-cut some of these pieces as well. And you're going to see the backsplash is also a very critical, oh, very exacting project. We have to do this. We've got to put a bead down here on the edges and set the tile. on the wall. Now I've got an angled piece here. There is always dust on the back of these from the tile saw because it, it cuts with water. Now it's a diamond saw and it, it runs water out. Very critical we get this joint at the bottom done well because we have to make sure that we don't have water leaking in. It is a countertop, it is by the sink right here especially. We want to make sure that we have um, a good seal at the base. There is going to be trim here that's going to hide this edge so I didn't have to get real crazy about being exact. Okay, so here we are. We're, we're just going right along. We're plugging along here. We're going to the bottom of the cabinet. I'll cut a piece to go here. But, dun 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 dun, a little more serious work. Look where the outlet is. It's right in the middle of the next tile. So if that's going to be a 12 by 12, we got to cut one to go right in the middle. I couldn't cut this one ahead of time because I had to get the other stuff lined up. But through the beauty of television, we can sneak over here where I have the same dilemma. And what I've done is I've taken a tile and I've just cut a lot of a lot of saw cuts. I cut in from the end here. This was upside down. There's my mark. That's where the outlet is here. And we just cut a slot for that to go around. And it's down a little bit here. We're going to use a box that's a, a, a cover that's a little bit larger. And let's put this piece on and then we'll talk about the rest of it because we, um, we have a couple of issues here to contend with. So we're going to caulk the edge again up the side 
across the bottom. Now let's do the back and we want to be particularly concerned that we get all around the cutout because we this edge here where it's a small piece of granite um, is potentially weak. Now you could do this with thin set also. And I think thin set probably be cheaper. And it would give you the ability to wiggle stuff around. The beauty of using mortar is that it will uh, it, it costs you less money and it will un it'll accommodate any incongruities. If this wasn't perfectly flat or this wasn't perfectly um, flat, it will work well. But I like using the, the silicone. And what I've done is I've cut a little key piece to go in on top here. And now you can see the lines there, but once that's silicone in place, you're not going to see them. And it's underneath the cabinet. You're not going to see that. So I'm going to caulk the heck out of this. Caulking the edges. And we're going to set that in there. And you're going to see it ush out the sides. And I'm going to push that in. And if we wait long enough, that's going to slide down. So I'm going to get the duct tape, because we've got to take another break here. I'm going to get the duct tape. We're going to tape that in place. And when we come back, we'll let the, we're going to have to let that cure for 24 hours, but we won't, we're not going to wait for that. Let's take a quick... I'm going to get a break. I'm going to get the tape. Be right back. Hey, we're back. Got another piece of tile here we're going to do. We're going to put the piece of tile that goes above the piece we did right before the break, and you'll see why in just a second here. Because it's important. Again, we're going to put a bead across the top. Look how that slid down. That's why we got to tape it. And if you look way up underneath there, see the piece of tape? Ah, that's from yesterday. Works fine. Put this one in here. Okay. And we're going to slide that up again. And we're going to take a piece of ma uh, masking tape. You can use masking tape or duct tape. You can use duct tape. And we're going to hold that piece in place with the duct tape. I will come back tomorrow and take that off. And no one will be the wiser that there's even a cut there. And I'm going to get some, for the next show, I'm going to get some outlet covers to show you how nice it'll look. Now over here, here's the one that we did. This was at an edge. So I was blessed. I did have to cut in from the side. You see how it's kind of craggy there. Um, That'll be covered with the box. I got to get an extension. I'm going to extend this box out uh, three eighths of an inch because these tiles are three eighths of an inch thick, and we'll pull the the outlet out so it's in flush with the um, with the top of the tile, and that'll be done. So now what we're going to do because we have to stop at this point because I've got to cut this one. I'm not going to do that in the middle of the show because it'll take too long. But we'll put this one in. A couple that go across the back here. The stove's going in here. We've got a microwave going in here, so we're going to tile up to the bottom of the microwave, and we'll be done tiling. Oh, thank you. And, but it's been fun. This is kind of a therapeutic project that doesn't take a long time to do, and it's easy for you to do. And I don't know. You look at that. I kind of like it. And I've got, let's count now. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 pieces of tile. We go one, two, let's go over here. One, two, three and a half tiles. So three and a half times 11 is quick, 30 something. Let's call it 40. We'll round off to 40. 40 tiles at $2.50 a tile. It's 100 bucks. I've got a couple of tubes of silicone. I've got three tubes of silicone caulk I've used. That was just the third tube I opened. That's another five bucks a tube. So that's $15. And we've got the piece of Advantech underneath, that was $20. I used one piece of Advantech for all this counter. So I'm into it, uh, 115 and 20 is $135 and three, four hours of my time. And I have a granite countertop with a granite backsplash. Now you could do this with marble. You could do it with, you could do it with um, ceramic tile, but there's a catch here. With ceramic tile and with any of these tiles, we have one area that's a little bit of a limitation. We don't have a real fancy edge here. We don't have an OG or some kind of curved thing. That's, you know, professionals have uh, diamond 
blades to, to make the fancy edges. We have a standard square edge, which I don't mind. Now, it's a little, um, it's not shiny at the edge here because it's not polished, it's been cut. Uh, but there's a way around this. We could take some clear, glossy urethane and urethane this cut edge and it would look okay. The other thing we could do is we could have this back a little bit and use a wood edge if we want to, but I like the the granite because the granite is much more rugged than wood's going to be and it's quicker and easier I think because I just zipped out I think about 14 of these strips here to go uh, you know up the sides and across the front and I did that in no time I set up the the little saw with the uh, with the uh, rip fence and ripped out 14 of these three quarters of an inch wide all the way around everything and had that done in about less than an hour I had it cut let it dry for a little bit and then came and glued it in place. Takes no time to glue it in place. Cut the edges to get it into where it's got to be against the wall. And this is a real simple project. I can't emphasize enough. Uh, as I said before, if you want to take on this kind of project, you really want to do maybe something small first. A bathroom vanity is a great project because it's not very big and it gets you into the same basic concept. The, uh, the, we use the old sink. That's the only thing we've used over from the kitchen is the old sink and that reminds me I have to caulk the edge that isn't done because I do not want water to leak in. Now I had the luxury on the other because we're doing a TV show here um, I, I buttered the bottom edge of that sink with a lot of silicone I couldn't do that here because I wanted to show you how this was going in so I have taken and caulked this edge and forced it in as best I can and I'm running my finger and then I'm going to run over that with I'm trying to force some of the silicone in the silicone once it cures is going to is going to be kind of rubbery on the surface of the granite at that point God it's all sticky I take a razor a scraper and I can go along here, I don't know if we can get any, but I go along and scrape up any extraneous stuff. There is none there. There wasn't much that oozed up through. Here's some here. See it? All right. I can see it. It darkened a little bit. There we go. So we just, there we go. There's, oh, isn't that awesome? Seek and ye shall find. And we just clean that up. That's the only finish up work we need to do short of sealing it when we're dealing with natural stone we want to have some kind of sealer on here because it will get wet and it will pick up water so I, I be honest with you I have a granite countertop I made like this we did the uh, bathroom vanity and the kitchen sink oh I don't know how many years ago that was now and it really has never been sealed it does get some wetness on the surface but I don't think it ever permeates through and the way I can tell that is I'm guessing that the particle board would start to swell if it really got wet. And I've never seen that happen. The Advantech I've never used before is an underlayment for this kind of project. But it's supposedly much more stable because of the adhesive they use for putting it together. So we shall see. Hey, if it gets messed up, I'll do it over again. And we'll, do, we'll tell you about it on TV or on the radio. But I think this is going to work out real well. It's very important, though, that we make sure everything is sealed. So we, we take the step to make sure that we do not have water going through and this is the place where it's going to happen at the sink. So as long as it's sealed around the sink, I think everything's cool. It does, but we do want to make sure all our joints are done also. And if we, if we see a lot of water spotting, I don't know if I've got enough time here to do this, but if I put some water on here, it's going to start to darken. And uh, see it's already darkening, is it absorbing the water. Okay, if you're getting a lot of that kind of stuff on your, on your countertop where it's getting dark like that, we do want to probably seal it. And the sealers are pretty easy to use. They're, look at that, how dark that got. Boy, I, if I talk long enough, anything can happen on this show. 
<laughs> That's cool. Anyway, let's wipe the water off. What's the matter with me making the countertop wet? Anyway, we got to go because we are out of time. Had a great time this week. Did a fun project. I just love this project because you get in almost instantaneous gratification. If you have any questions, give us a call on the radio. Boy, I'd love to show you how to, I did show you how to do this. I'll just show you in person sometime because it's so easy to do. But we got to go. We're out of time. And this is the next best thing. I can't go to everybody's house. If you have any questions, give us a call on the radio. We will see you next week. This will all be done too. Man. Production support for Hot and Cold is brought to you by American Solar Technics, manufacturers of components for wood burning and solar heating systems.